Today, we examine the latest significant news from the world of artificial intelligence, showcasing developments that are actively shaping the future. Anthropic has introduced a beta version of a voice mode for its AI model, Claude. This feature allows users to communicate with Claude using voice and receive audio responses along with transcriptions and summaries. Currently, voice mode is available only in English. The free plan limits users to 30 requests per day, while paid plans offer advanced features, including integration with Google Workspace. Claude also now supports web search for all users, positioning it as a strong competitor to ChatGPT. In scientific advancements, Microsoft has published research results from its Aurora AI model in the journal Nature, demonstrating notable capabilities in weather forecasting. Trained on over a million hours of data, Aurora is shown to outperform traditional methods in accuracy and speed. It can predict not only weather patterns, but also air quality, hurricanes, and ocean waves. The model generates predictions up to 5,000 times faster than classical systems, is already integrated into MSN Weather, and is available to developers on GitHub. In major business acquisitions, Salesforce has acquired Informatica for $8 billion. This move aims to strengthen the capabilities of Salesforce's Einstein One platform to work with AI. The integration of Informatica's solutions with Salesforce's Data Cloud, MuleSoft, and Tableau is intended to create a unified platform for autonomous AI agents, thereby reinforcing Salesforce's position in the data and artificial intelligence sectors, competing with ServiceNow, Snowflake, and Databricks. Tencent has open-sourced Hanwan Portrait, an AI model that transforms static images of faces into realistic animations. The model demonstrates high-quality facial expression transfer, supports the creation of animations from a single photo, and reportedly outperforms similar solutions. Hanwan Portrait is available on GitHub and Hugging Face, but requires a powerful graphics card. Tencent plans to further expand its capabilities for working with video. The startup Spatial Dynamics, co-founded by Matthias Niesner, known for his work with Synthesia, has raised $13 million to develop spatial AI models capable of creating 3D environments based on text or images. The technology aims to generate interactive environments with realistic physics. The company has opened a waiting list for early access, plans to monetize its technology through an API, and currently maintains a compact team. Mistral AI has announced the launch of its Agents API designed for creating intelligent agents. These agents can plan and execute tasks, maintain context, and interact with other APIs, databases, and documents. The Mistral Agents API supports code generation, web search, and image generation, offers flexible pricing, and is positioned as a competitor to offerings from OpenAI, Google, and Anthropic. At a recent Google event, possibly Google I.O., the company announced Sign, an AI model for real-time sign language to text translation. It currently works with American Sign Language, ASL, and English, but Google plans to expand its language support. The model is designed to integrate with Google products, support offline work, ensure user privacy, and is available for testing by developers. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't miss the next news. Subscribe to the channel. Bye.